turning 22 in October, May, June, July, August, September, October. Five months, five months. <laughs> That's still a fair way away, but I feel like it would creep up. Um, but yeah, I'm someone who is a Gen Z. Okay, so I have to tell you this. For a really long time, I thought I was a millennial as everyone's like, oh my God, millennials are so bad. Like literally, I'm looking at a stick right now and talking to it. Is that not the most millennial thing that everyone hates? <laughs> like go make some friends, I'm like the internet is my friend. Like <laughs> I'm in a public place in the Botanic Gardens in Wollongong talking to a stick and I'd be like, you know what? That's a total millennial thing to do. No, I'm Gen Z. Gen Z, Z, I can't even, do you say Z or Z? The real question there. But regardless of what you say, I am one. Um, hey, hey, <laughs> welcome to Chatham Up. Uh, I'm Em. I am a fourth year university student and I'm studying media and communications. And basically what it is, is I hand write letters, send them to random people why would you do that? It's a good question, isn't it? Because that takes time and effort and ugh. Anyone actually gonna read it? I hope so. Um, the reason why I do that is because we spend so long looking at screens. And I don't necessarily think our screens give us positive, positive vibes, you know? Like you look at your screen and you're strolling through Facebook, like that's your break time. Like we look at screens for work. We watch, I watch lectures and do my uni work, but I know when I graduate, like I'll be doing like heaps and heaps and heaps of things on a screen. Everything will revolve around the screen. When I go home, I'll still be on that screen. It doesn't stop. And when we want to break from our work on our screen, we go to Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or Snapchat and we compare ourselves to other people. And I know that not everyone uses those tools for comparison. Um, but you know, you look at memes, you look at pictures, you look at people's lives. You want to be in the office staring at a screen. <laughs> if someone's in bloody Hawaii, you're like, man, I want to be in Hawaii right now. I want to talk about the infiltration of screens in our lives, how it's affecting you, how you could cut down screen time. I know that's definitely something I've been considering lately. I need to switch it off and get off it because it's just too much. Um, also the idea of like always having something to do in your life. I'm graduating and I don't know what I'm going to do. And for my whole life everyone said you have to plan what you're doing. Like you can't not know. Not knowing is like the devil. And I feel so good because like I've got so many opportunities in front of me. And I can just pick whatever I want, you know. But I don't have to have a plan. And I think the whole idea of another topic I want to talk about as well is the whole idea of lists and achievements and you're only as good as your last achievement. It's like, no, you're good because you're you. Um, not because of the amount of things on a piece of paper. And it's hard because I have always been that person who wants to achieve a lot of things. 100%. That's me. And this is the thing that I've always struggled to do with is like, you know, like you're worthy without them. You really are. And just because someone else has got more or someone else has got less or whatever, it literally means nothing. It's like when it comes to the crunch and activities have got to be done, it's got to be done. It doesn't matter what your piece of paper looks like, you know, if you can't perform when it's needed, then what does the piece of paper matter? So I guess believing in ourselves and having confidence in ourselves and loving ourselves regardless of what we get done today or any other day or regardless of what anyone else tells us to do is still good enough. And we'll just be unpacking that over the series, I think. Um, and the whole idea of you're allowed to take breaks and it's okay to take a break and it's okay to not get everything done today and you're still worthy. So yeah, we're up for some good chats. Um, we can chat about dating and the whole idea of like, I've been on a lot of dates, um, which I haven't always gone so well. Um, of course, I'm not gonna name people, I'm not gonna name locations and stuff like that, but the whole idea of, wanting to find someone or feel like we need to find someone do you do you really like I'm independent and do whatever I want I'm more in type more incapable of getting a job and going to uni and buying my own nuggets like I don't need someone but like I worry I'm not gonna find someone why why <laughs>
Is that person really gonna make you happier? Are you selling? Stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I feel like we have a lot of life experiences to talk about. I've never moved out of home, which will be soon. I've never had a full-time job, which will be soon. So it's exciting to share that with you guys. Um, I've traveled overseas, so we can talk about traveling as well and the whole idea of saving for traveling and what you should and shouldn't do because I learned so much going overseas by myself, by myself. Um, for the first time, my parents had never gone overseas. It was the first one to do it, so yeah scary as um but i did it and i'm here so yeah just here to chat about literally anything that comes up anything that's important to you things that i've gone through if you need someone who's similar to you that's gone through that experience at a similar age ask you know and i won't bite happy to answer your questions um, and happy to address them in these videos for everyone else as well so make sure you subscribe if you liked what you see so far um, I'm excited to create videos more videos and see where this goes and yeah I hope to send you a letter soon um, so bye for now <laughs>